So I'm here at the trailhead to Hell Canyon, um, just to the west of Custer, South Dakota. Uh, the trail is just under six miles. It's a loop and um, it's a beautiful day today in the Black Hills. Uh, I think it's around 60 degrees maybe. A uh, slight breeze here, but not too bad. So we're gonna do, we, I say we, I don't know why I say that <laughs> by myself. So I'm gonna do, uh, let's see, clockwise. Uh, so start up with the climb and then finish coming back um, along the creek. So I'm gonna get started here. Starting out on this trail, um, this whole first section of the trail is pretty exposed. Um, last time I did it, it was the summer and it was pretty hot. Um, so this first section, there really is no shade. It, it kind of climbs up the side of this hill in the area that uh, there was a fire, so there are no, no trees for shade or anything right here. Although today it feels pretty good because it's only maybe 55, 60 degrees. Um, but the fire here was the uh, Jasper fire. I don't know if you could see it. Took this, I want to say it was, uh, I should have looked at the sign closer at the beginning. I think it was like 80,000 acres or something burned. Um, and that was in, I think, 2000. So hard to believe it's been almost 24 years since that fire. But um, yeah, so this. This section here, I've already taken my hoodie off. <laughs> it's pretty warm. Uh, but once we get to the top here and start looping back around, it will go down and there are some shaded spots down near the creek. So um, if you're doing this trail in the summer, just keep that in mind. It's gonna be warm climbing up this first section here. here about six tenths of a mile in um, climb up through the through kind of that open spot where the fire was um, kind of have a nice view overlooking the road and the canyon on this side uh, so now the trail's going to start kind of looping back um, get into the trees a little bit and then drop down into the canyon so I'm at just under a mile right now. Um, there was a spot up there where I had to follow like an old road or a four-wheeler track for just a little bit before it uh, veered off under a single track again. And now I'm uh, dropping down here, still in the open area, but I can see we're getting down closer to um, the trees and like the canyon area that would be near the creek. So. Um, yeah, just right about a mile right now, I guess. So about five miles to go, a little less than five miles.
1.7 miles right now. Um, just coming around this side of the hill here. I was just thinking I was kind of regretting uh, wearing my hiking boots because my feet were getting a little hot um, climbing up there. But now that I've come around, there is some snow and ice on the trail right through this section right here. And the wind's blowing a little bit in the shade. So I'm actually cooling down quite a bit. So um, we are dropping down a little bit here. I guess going kind of down and up and down and up. Um, it's been a few years since I've done this trail. So this is um, oh, squirrel. Um, a little bit farther before it drops down into the canyon than I remembered, but um, I think I've just got to go a little bit farther around the side of this hill here and then it'll drop down in the canyon um, and it'll probably be quite a bit cooler down there and I'm expecting more snow and ice probably the way things are looking right now so um, again like the last hike <laughs> my goal is to not fall on my butt today so <laughs> I didn't accomplish that on the last hike but we'll see if I can stay on my feet today <laughs> seven five miles um, and I know I've been saying that a few times here that it should start dropping down into the canyon to circle back but it really is this time <laughs> I mean it this time um, I'm in the trees a little bit here now and it's starting to drop down it's actually getting quite a bit cooler right here it's shaded um, there is some some ice and snow coming up on the trail here so hoping I'm not gonna slip on that and go sailing down the slide at the side of the hill um, so yeah just gonna start looping back and then we'll drop all the way down um, to the base of the canyon to head back towards uh, the trailhead so um, it was pretty warm up there along the side of the hill with the rock kind of reflecting that heat um, I was kind of regretting putting a couple layers on here. Um, I've got a t-shirt and then an undershirt on, uh, but now it's actually getting quite a bit cooler here in the shade. Um, a little bit of wind picking up right in this area too. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to hopefully not slide down the hill. <clears throat> so it's pretty slow going right here. Um, and it looks like a pretty steep spot. There are a few rocks on the trail. So I'm trying to step from rock to rock to avoid the real slick spots. Um, but I think I'm going to go up on the hillside a little bit here. Because it just looks really icy in this spot right here. With a, a nice slide down, down the side. You can see. You can see that right there. So I think I might try and go up up on the hillside a little bit to avoid some of that ice because I really don't want to fall down the hill. Well, I made it through that section. Um, ended up not going up the hillside because there was snow and it was kind of slick with the pine needles so just took it slow. Um, wish I would have bought my, brought my yak tracks. <sighs> now I've got another section here of ice with kind of a cliff on one side and then the drop off on the other. So <sighs> it's kind of slow going, but I'm being careful. So hopefully I don't fall. it down 
down to the base of the canyon. Um, that took a while coming down that. So definitely if you're going to do this trail um, in the winter or I guess anytime soon, there's quite a bit of ice coming down. Um, it would probably be easier going the other way on this loop so you climb up that icy area rather than trying to come down it. But definitely um, I would have felt much better if I had like some spikes or something on my boots. I don't even know if yak tracks would have been enough for coming down that. It was pretty slick. Uh, but like I said, I think it would have been a little bit easier going up that rather than trying to come down it. So if you do this trail, then there's a possibility for ice. Maybe do the loop the other way. So now I'm at the base of the canyon. So um, there's a little bit of ice it looks like here, but at least the ground is flat. So it'll be a little bit easier getting through this part. So came through a more sheltered area back there that actually had quite a bit of ice but it was pretty flat just kind of followed the, the creek bed I guess so um, it wasn't too difficult to get through that icy area and now I'm kind of out in the open again um, just coming through this area the base of the canyon that was affected by the fire so I'm out of shade through here and it's actually um, pretty warm right now even though it's only like I don't know 55 degrees today or whatever um with the canyon walls and the rocks it's kind of holding the heat in pretty good um so yeah just walking down the base of the canyon you can look up at the the rock walls and see um the trail that we had just come along uh before dropping down here so with Hell Canyon. Uh, the total mileage is right about uh, 5.6 miles. Um, I think I probably should have done this counterclockwise. I feel like that area that was real icy um, coming down into the canyon would have been a little bit easier um, going up rather than trying to come down that icy area. And I should have remembered to throw all my yak tracks in my backpack when I left the house and I didn't. So if you're gonna do this when there's a possibility of ice, definitely bring some uh, traction device, micro spikes or something, that would have made um, my hike a little bit easier. Um, there is quite a bit of ice in the canyon, um, but that area was pretty flat, so it, that was easy to navigate. It was just really coming down um, that section that was icy, that was, that was difficult to, to navigate. Uh, but overall, it was a good day and I managed not to fall on my butt today, so yay me. <laughs> So yeah, it was, it was a great day. Weather was pretty good, a little bit windy, but um, overall it was it was good. Mm -hmm. 